Hi, my friends. Today, I will present you uh, how to prepare uh, a game of maze with Scratch step by step. So first of all, you have to go to uh, this web address and then you download the Scratch version 3 uh, if you are on Windows, Mac OS or and then you also go to this web address, mazegenerator.net, and then you can choose here like 10 cells for the width and the height, and also that the entrance is from the bottom. And then you start with PNG and you generate a new maze and you, you download it. Okay, as an image. Okay, now we are done, we have prepared our system. So what we can do now is that you open your Scratch. Uh, it is version 3, so all the item can be uh, browsed or scrolled here on the left. And then you prepare, you begin with the background. So with the background, we will choose our scene. Okay. So we go on uh, the, uh, the background and here we can uh, download our system. So you have here upload background so we will choose that uh, we have to take it from here okay and then you got your system of course this is a little bit small so you you choose to uh, to uh, get it a little bit bigger uh, we also need to erase the old one. Okay, so this is not to get it bigger. This is just a zoom. So to make it bigger, uh, as it is not a sprite, you cannot go here on size and change it. For the sprite, you can change the size, but for the background, you cannot. So what you need to do is uh, you can increase it like this as a PNG. Okay, or you can convert it to a vector. So we will stick to this. Okay, it's a little bit uh, bigger. So try to put uh, only, uh, to drag it only by the corner, because if you drag it from here, then you will uh, have a not a very uh, good ratio with on height. Okay, you leave a little bit space here, okay, and from the entrance. Or what can be done is that uh, you convert it to uh, a vector, so you can don't see these ugly uh, figures. Okay, so we can get it again from the file. Okay, and I will show you the difference. You go on vector, so it is converted to vector. And then when you increase it, it's a little bit better. You see, all the, uh, all the lines have the same width. Look at the difference. Okay, I'll let it like here. Look at here and the difference between this and this. Okay, now that we have our maze, then we will focus on the on the sprite. Okay, so this this sprite we goes inside it. So as you can see, it is uh, huge. So we have to uh, put it small. So this is this is a perfect height. Okay, as you can see, it can go without touching all the figures. So we will position it at here at the beginning. So at the entrance, we can see that the entrance is 1 and minus 160. So we will go to the code now. And then we will begin with the control program. So when our first event, when it is clicked, what we have to do, we have to position it here at the entrance so if uh, if it is here for example we have to go back here so this is one or let's say two minus 163 so we can say go to this position okay so whenever we start the program boom it will start from this position and then we have to do a loop an infinite loop so forever and we have to deal with the keys. So what are the keys that we are pressing? 
uh, how to determine it. So we have an if condition. So what is my if condition? Okay, I can put it here. If the keys, uh, we'll start with the uh, uh, right arrow, for example. So uh, sensing is the key. So what is the key? Key, key, key. So this key is present. And it is on the right arrow. So if the right arrow is pressed, then we will move our um, uh, our sprite by let's say two. Okay, we can start. Now I'm pressing the key. You see, it is moving on the right by two. But how can I say uh, to move up? So this move is is not a good option. We have to say to increase x, so we have to change x by 2. For instance, here it is the same thing, okay? I can move my sprite. But you will see that we can also do it to move in the y direction. So now, if the sprite hits this wall, this black wall, it has to stop and not go inside it. So what we can do here is to detect another if condition okay and in this condition we will see if we are touching so if we are touching a color which color we will pick it and it's a black color okay so if you are touching a black color then we will change uh, to come back so if we have uh, moved by two we have to move back we can duplicate it we have to move back by minus two okay and let's see how it works okay let's say we are here and that we are moving with boom you see you cannot go inside it but if we don't have this condition and we are moving Okay, let, let's put it here, you see? So this condition help us to not cross the walls. And now what we will do, we can also add a message, like for example, uh, uh, saying, uh, uh, let's say, uh, yes, here say ouch ouch but not for a short time okay we start okay and then as soon as i start i click on it it happens so now we have to duplicate this uh in uh, many in many ways for example the x in the opposite direction so we have just to put a plus and a minus okay then we duplicate it but with the y direction so uh, we, are, we are moving in the y direction so change y by 2 So we have to exchange these two conditions. Oh, let's not lose it. Okay, I duplicate it. I put one here and one here. So when it is two, I put minus two. And I put it inside. It. And I duplicate also this. And here with minus two, we put plus two. Okay, and then we arrange everybody. So here we have the x minus two, the y plus two, the y minus two, and we will put it all together here. Okay, let's see. So now what happens? We didn't put the right arrow, left arrow, and the up arrow, and the bottom down arrow okay now up watch 
moving up, moving left, moving down. So it works. Oh. Okay, now what, what we will do now is uh, to seek for something here. So we will add a new sprite. Let's say, for example, a cake. Yeah. And we put this cake here. It's an awesome cake. But does it need to be so big? Okay. And now we need to know when we will reach this cake. So we go back to the sprite number one. And then we go to the events. So when it is uh, clicked, it will look for if we uh, have reached this, this cake. So we will wait until uh, it's in this condition. So it's not wait one second, it's wait until something happens. And this something is that we are um, hitting the cake. So we sense. Are we touching the cake? So touching, but what? Touching the cake. And then we will broadcast a message. So it's an event. And this message has to be a new message. Let's say cake touch it. Okay, who will receive this message? It will be the cake. So on the cake, uh, we will have uh, when I received cake touched, so this message, then I will say you win. You win for two seconds. And then also it will broadcast a new message for the other sprite saying you can eat me, yum. Okay, so I come back to the cat, and when I receive the message, yum, then I will say, yum yum. And I will stop the program. So in the control, stop all. And you are done. So let's give it a, give it a try. OK, so I can move, I touch. See, so the uh, sensing that we are touching the wall is working well. Okay, we move through the maze. You win. And the second message, miam miam. Okay. So what we learned today, we learned how to begin by putting a, a, a maze from a PNG file, uh, moving towards a starting position, then sensing the keys to move into the fall direction, X and Y. Uh, if you touch an obstacle, then you can come back and say something. And then also we learn how to uh, manage the message. So you can save your file for future lessons. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and you, I have also uh, videos in French on Scratch 2 and Scratch 3 version. Keep programming by